Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about what the things you need in order to run a successful football academy centre. So what I mean by academy centre is pretty much a location where you train all your clients out of. Okay, Now, currently the role I have at the company I work for, which is Pro Football Academy, is I'm academy manager of four different centers across one region. So if you have a business and you're looking to, to grow and scale to the next level, right? you might be thinking about opening different centers across the country. So if you're in the UK, if you're in the US, right, you might be thinking of expanding your business into another region okay, to, to grow your brand and to try and attract more more clients from a specific area so our company a uh, pro football academy we're currently at about 75 plus centers all across the united kingdom uh, the goal at the end of the year is to get to 100 uh, i have also my own business that that i do which i've got one center that i'm currently running so i've got a lot of experience in in starting and, and growing centers across the country. Okay, from work from my experience working within Pro Football Academy to also starting my own business and growing and scaling what I'm currently doing as well. So I get asked a lot a lot of questions every single day from coaches who write me in to say, how can I start a center in this city? How can I expand into this area? Uh, what are the three things I need in order to grow and scale the, the current center that I have. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and make this video because it will help you. Right, when I look at a successful center and when I look at what I've done with my training business, what the things that we have done with the work I'm doing at, at Pro Football Academy, all of the centers that have been really successful, they've had the three following things. Okay. Now, the first one is set day, set time that you do your training out of. Okay. So when you are doing your research and you're looking to expand in a different, into a different area, into a different city, you need to do some uh, tick boxing. Okay. There's a lot of tick boxing that you will need to do. But the first most important thing is you need to have a look at a location whether it be an indoor facility, whether it be a turf field somewhere in, in the city, whether it be maybe a local park that you want to do your training out of, whether it be a school, you need to figure out, do they run or is the, are, the, are the pitches or fields that you want to use available at the set day, set time that you want to do your training sessions? So I take what I'm doing currently at the moment. So when we want to expand the business into a new city or new area, first thing I do is I do my research on those locations. So if I look at a new city, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to research every single indoor five aside, indoor seven aside, every uh, turf field that is available in that city and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call either call them up email them or try and get in contact with a decision maker or the owner or the manager of that that facility of that venue and get in contact with them okay because I want to make sure that the, the day and time that I want to run my sessions out of I am able to get the, those time slots and have them on a week-to-week -week basis so that my sessions do not get interrupted okay because the the mo the key to it is if you build consistency you will have consistent clients okay the worst thing you want to do is go week week to week right you don't want to call up a center or, or a, a facility a venue and one week yes that pitch is available and then the next week it's not available okay you want to have a set day set time that you do all your training sessions out of you want to make sure that you speak to the decision maker, the owner of the venue, and you want to make sure that you have everything in place so that you can run your sessions 
out of uh, on, a, on a daily basis, on a, on a weekly basis. Okay, so that's number one. Do your research. Research all the venues, all the facilities in your area that you can that that fit your criteria of how you want to run your sessions. Right now, the second bit is you need to have staff. Right. A co well, when I say staff, you need to have a coaching team. Now, if it's just yourself doing the sessions, then you need, you need to make sure that the set day, set time that you have made available for those time slots, right, you can commit to. There's a lot of coaches that want to just do random sessions here and there, and then they realize, you know what, I've, I don't have time to run these sessions. Okay, so you want to make sure that the set day, set times that you have available, you are available to actually coach and run those training sessions. Now, if you can't make it, then you might want to hire a team of staff to be able to run the sessions for you. Now, that is something I can help you with. And you need, if you need more help with get in contact with me, just visit the, the description in this video. I'll be able to give you more advice and, and help with that matter. Okay. But the second thing is you need to make a commitment to being at those training sessions every single week. Okay. Again, if you can't make it, then what you need to do is you need to make sure that you, you train your, your staff or other coaches to run those sessions for you if you can't make a certain day, certain time. Okay. So the first one, find a venue, make sure they have the, the days and times that work with you, that you want to run your training sessions out of. Uh, the second thing is make sure you commit to those days and times. And if you can't commit, make sure you have someone, a coach, a member of staff from your business that can run those sessions. Right? The worst thing you want to do is pay up front for the cost of these venues or facilities. And then you have to cancel sessions because either yourself, you can't get to, to the place to run the session or... You have really un unreliable staff that can't make those training sessions, right? And also that got, it's it's a it's a trickle effect, right? If you can't make those sessions on a regular basis or your staff keep cancelling and you have to cancel the sessions, you're gonna start to lose clients uh, as well. Okay, so that's the second one. Now the third thing is systems in place. Right, with most of the coaches we work with. They have systems in place to where any new client that comes in, they go straight into that ecosystem. So by systems, I mean, right, when a parent applies for your program, for your soccer academy, what is the onboarding process that you take them through? Okay, do they, Are they attending a, a taster session? After that taster session, what's the next step for them to get uh, signed up and registered into your program. Okay, so you need to have a, si a system in place where you either have a website where traffic is coming into your into your website, and from that website, right, parents are registering their interest to train at your your academy. From there, how do we then move that that lead into a taste the session where they come try your training and then how do we then enroll them into the into the uh, program so you need to have systems in place which means you need to have parents on uh, recurring billing you need to have parents on contracts with you that they sign and they agree to your terms and conditions and also you need to have systems in place where parents Okay, are getting up to date information on what is going on within your your company. Okay, so that might be an email. Okay, email marketing that that goes out maybe once every two weeks or once a week, where you can give parents information on on the updates from uh, you know the updates what's going on in in your program. Maybe you're looking to expand the business into another city, and you've gathered a lot of um, of emails and you can then blast emails out and market to parents in specific uh, areas or different markets okay 
Not only that, also you need a, a community as well where parents can stay up to date or parents can ask you questions about training, right? What you don't want as a business owner is you don't want parents to personally text and call you all the time. When your business reaches a certain amount of clients, okay, you're going to be getting a lot of emails, you're going to be getting a lot of text messages, calls from parents on a regular basis asking uh, asking you about certain things, right? They, they're going to either contact you about questions. And the last thing you want to do is be dealing with all of that. So you need to have a system in place, whether this be through a community or whether it be through some, some type of online app where parents can log in, ask a question, and then you can respond to them via that app, right? It needs to be some form of communication where parents can ask questions and get feedback from you about upcoming clinics, upcoming training days, or if you have to cancel any any training sessions that, that are about to, to happen, okay? So if you need any help with this, again, like I said, I speak to coaches every single day. If you visit our YouTube channel, right, you can go through all the interviews I've done with current clients that we work with, also coaches in this industry that are doing really well, that are currently doing six figures, that have fantastic systems in place, adding great value to clients. Okay, so lots of experience I have. So if you want to connect with me, make sure you visit the description of this video. There, there's two ways you can do that. You can either visit uh, the Zoom link, right? So sorry, you can visit my Calendly link, which will take you to my calendar and you can book a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call with me. We'll jump on Zoom. I can show you a couple of action steps to take this week to grow and scale your business. Now, if you just want to send me questions, you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content.